for everyone listening, there was a moment in time when there was a lack of content being created in the film industry. <laughs> Which yeah. was about, when you said shelf filler, that means that you needed something to fill those shelves. So there yeah. wasn't. Well, yeah, I mean, it, you know, it was a time when uh, when crazy genre films uh, oh, uh, no. could find a place, you know, the Roger Corman type films. These right. days, it's hard for those films to actually find a place. Yeah, trauma, very, trauma stuff and stuff like that. Yeah. Trauma stuff. Yeah. In fact, when my dad retired or, or didn't retire, but my dad sold 30 of his films to trauma at one point, you know, um, uh, but trauma films and um, um, all a wide variety of genre films. And they found a home, I think, in the video stores, which was kind of cool. And people made more of those films. Uh, it's hard to make those films now and make money, but but back then you could make crazy, crazy films that you know combine a Wolfman and a Transformer or something, and they fight each other, and you know, or and it looked horrible. <laughs> and it looked horrible, but we didn't know back then, really. I mean, it was honestly, it was probably Steven Spielberg and Jurassic Park who yeah, sort of changed like, everything. It changed everything because, like, I remember walking the theater and seeing, you know, one of the dinosaurs and going. Uh, the world has changed and all that stuff that I thought looked good now looks like crap. I mean, well, I remember Corman. I think Corman came out right after Jurassic park with like Carnosaurus or something like that. I remember the box and I was just like, Wow! And but it you did see, not at that look point, it looked horrible. But if that came out before Jurassic Park, it would have been fine. Actually, right, right, right. But I, yeah, I mean, I was a big fan of uh, what was it, Harry Hamlin and Clash of Titans, and oh, uh, the, God, yes. the Harry Harry Housen, uh, uh, the, the, sort of... uh, Harry Harry Housen, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, All that kind that, of that was it, cool back then. Yeah, it was what? very cool back then. So then, as far as on a business standpoint is concerned, I always tell people like in the '80s, if you just got a movie finished. It was sold, basically, like almost pretty much if you had if you had a film shot on 16 millimeter and had just some bare basic beginning, middle end and a soundtrack, you could sell it. Yeah. 